filming a documentary. These two people are living in Manhattan. I know it's crazy. The name is Ange and Coffee Joe. And, it's uh, Yo Ange. Get the name right. Sorry. Yo Ange and Coffee Joe, and we're going to film their life. Go. Watch it. Yo, Adrian. He's so dumb, I can't. <laughs> Hi, guys. It's Yo Ange, Coffee Joe. And you're at the Yo Edge channel. What's up, people? Yo Edge. Oh, God. So it's supposed to storm later on today, guys. Did Yay. you know that? More storms are incoming from New York City. Yay. Hope everybody's having a good day. Good now, you guys day. want to hear something funny? So last night I was going to do a, a tiny little live stream from where we found this place to eat at. And guess what? I had it on private. I was like five minutes in. I'm like, there's nobody here. I'm so dumb. Oh. Hi, Tony. Hey, RJ. How are you? Hey, Eric Mendoza. Good morning. Good morning, Dave Jeffrey. Yeah, yeah. So we are up early. Joe's got my little my little drinky. It's just it's just like flavored water, guys. No like drink. It's only 10 o'clock in the morning. Come on. It's at 5 o'clock somewhere. That doesn't mean anything. You need quitting time. You can start drinking after work. That's what that means. It's Saturday. It better be quitting time. It's Saturday. Saturday in the park. I think it was the four. What are you looking it's at? New style air conditioner. What? It's a new style air conditioner. Oh my God, Joe. It's a small Yo, he's looking up like he's crazy, man. A new style. A style. We gonna do it. Joe, you look, look crazy. Up, look up, Isaiah. Why? There could be wires. Now, you didn't even say it right. You have a white piece of lint on the back of your shirt. It's annoying the hell out of me. You gonna stop so I can get it? Everybody pick it off. Oh, it's it's a sticker. Daniela, good morning. Hi, Robert. How is you? So, what? What does that look for? You forgot where you parked? Yeah, Oh my God. Danny D, how are you doing? And Cynthia Oliveira, Mike Beachman, how are you doing? Today, we're gonna go up to the Bronx, guys. That's where, actually, it's not even in the Bronx. I think it actually is still in Manhattan, technically. We are gonna go up along the Hudson River to Fort Tryon Park. By the water. By the water. We're going to stick by the water, guys, because it's a hot one today. Oh my God, that kid almost took me out. He almost took me out. Everybody make a phone call. One of the last telephone booths here in New York City. You see it live. For real. We're going to go up to Fort Tryon Park by the Cloisters. The Cloisters are an extension of the Met Museum at the Met. It's this old world castle slash cloister kind of thing. Now, I may try, may, try sneaking you guys in. Now for people that are residents of New York, I think actually New York City, it's a pay as you what you wish kind of thing for us. We can pay a dollar and go see it. Just hang out. Chris and Lou, how are you doing? Chris no. and in the house. Yes, and the reason why I like the cloisters, I love their grounds. Yes, they have very cool things inside. Like you get to see suits of armors, crypts of knights, kind of stuff like that. That's what it is. It's very King Arthur-y. No joke. But, Colleen, how are you? What? What are you, what are you talking about? Smell? Yeah, we're going to go up towards your hood. But we're going to go up there. And we take a walk along the garden area, see what it looks like. I haven't done it yet this year. And, you know... Once in a while, Joe likes to do stuff like that. Hi, Elise and Phyllis. Adriana, good morning. It is a little early. 
But you know, we have to get out before the damn heat takes over. Because it's going to be a hot one again today, guys. It's going to be a hot one. It's one of those days where you got to say cool. I like her pants. Those are cool. Bombi Rivera, how are you? Good to see you. These are all students. I think they use that building specifically for dorms for summer students for specific schools. My niece actually stayed there when she was doing ballet classes. For the summer. So she was here for a couple of months in like a deep session and that's where she stayed. The cloisters are beautiful. You're going kayaking with your dad at the Long Island City Boathouse. Hopefully there'll be a breeze in the water. I hope so RP because it is going to be a smoldering one. Whew. He still won't let me sit up front. He doesn't want me to wreck my knee. Okay. Hang on. We gotta to get this all plugged in and all up there. Get your ass in the car, woman. Crazy chick, Sheena. Be good day, Hans. Joe, good day cooking for your husband's birthday party. Well, happy birthday to crazy chick, Sheena's husband. Yeah, maybe I didn't turn the weather back on. I know, it is oh super my steamy. God, Hi, nice Christopher Dotson. Car. Did you run the air conditioner all night? You're walking all the way to Washington Heights. We are not walking to Washington Heights, guys. You guys are crazy. Joe, you want to put the thing on so they can, they can go on it? No. I think you do. No, really. We have to watch Joe try to do this. Hi, Lila. How are you? It has been a long week. Oh, my God. That's the understatement of the century. Joe's been, you know, he's, he's like back to his normal. Let's see him get this back up here. Click, click, click. Okay. All right. Hang on, guys. I'm going to take you guys off. Fold this up. We'll save that. Got to save the battery properly. Okay, hang on, hang on. Okay, plug that in. I mean, uh, put that up there and then you can plug it in. Oh my god, Joe. Click. Click! Okay, and then I'll just need your phone. So I'm going along. So I don't have to be bent over trying to read the chat. Yo. Bent over? That's inappropriate. Yeah. Ooh, it's inappropriate, Angela. It's inappropriate. Two bacon, egg, and cheese with a large cup of coffee, please. Okay, that sounds I'm going to tell you, Joe gave me this, this uh, big drinky cup. Mm. Guys, I'm going to show it to you. Here, flip it around, Joe. Mm. You can do it. Okay, he gave me this big drinky cup. It seems like we're tilted a little bit now. Huh? It's fine. It's fine, Joe. Okay. okay, he gave me this thing, and I'm going to tell you guys. Now, I'm not going to show the logo, but... um. It literally keeps the ice in there overnight. I woke up this morning because I had water in it last night and there was still ice in it. I was in shock. Shock and all. Can I have your phone? I mean, I think I, you know how to get the, clo the cloisters. It's very easy. It's like- We're gonna get a bacon over. egg and cheese first. <sighs> all right. I don't need Why one. you gotta- I yeah, you don't need anything, right? Do you want mine? I don't want to bacon again, cheese at all. You I ate already. I didn't. Yes, you did. Good morning, Negative. Ollie. How are Negative. you? I got some scraps off your plate. Oh my God, Joseph, you had exactly what I had. Scraps. Joseph. Scraps. You guys. I can't wait. No. Turn your radius. Radius. Turning radius, your turning radius sucks. Hello, hello, hello. Turning it radius sucks. is good, it's just a big car diaper. Don't call me a diaper. Okay, my girl. <laughs> Hi, JC Droid. Caroline. And 
Shaka Khan. Shaka. I love that. Shaka. Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. That's all I know. It's the only word I know. Shaka. Shaka. Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. It's a great <laughs> name, by the way. Your mom made homemade biscuits Look and she gravy got a little thing like Angela. with bacon and cheese. What are you talking about? She got a little ponytail like you. She got the hair same way you. Oh, she just needs the bone. It's too hot. She just needs the bone in hers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause she truly has the pebbles in the front. The pebbles. In the front. The pebbles hair do when I put it up in a little bit. Fashion check, Upper West Side, relaxation mode. Horrible. Relaxation mode. Take the sparkly headband off, please. She's in. She's on full on pajama mode. Where? That one move across oh. by. And this guy is? He's just wandering. <laughs> He's just wandering. <laughs> He's a wandering I did a dance guy. routine to Shaka Khan. Shaka. When you were a Shaka. kid. Shaka. I, mine was to beat it. Shh, don't ever anybody talk about my age. Ours was to beat it. That was one of the ones. Included pom poms and everything. Yeah, she is eating good in the neighborhood. Iceman. Iceman. Do 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 do. That is not the sound, but you know we all that know this. That is the sound. But you'll keep doing it, and that's okay. I watch Top Gun a lot. That is it. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, okay. You're gonna get a. You're gonna get a, a warning that was so close to the song. Warning. We're gonna so. have to share our money. Grandma Joanne, how are you? Hello, Grandma Joanne. I'm doing fine, thank you. I'm going to get a bacon, egg, and cheese, and a coffee. Angela wants nothing. Get she gets drink. nothing. I got my drink. She gets Crazy Chichina, you got ooh, ice, cream? ice cream? Not a bad selection. I love this that morning. out of all the chats, Joe here is, he reads ice cream. Can you please tap the screen so I can see the thing? Thank tap, you. tippity tappity, tippity tappity. A lot of strollers out today, making some observations. That one's got a I never fan. had a fan on me. That one's got a fan in When everything. I was a kid, I never had a battery-operated fan blowing Good on morning, my noggin. Good morning, Timothy Chambers. How are you? Happy Saturday. It's always a bacon, egg, and cheese breakfast around here with Joe. There it is. So It's like he can't, he so can't go without... You guys know the routine with him. You guys know I'm a creature of habit. No, you're a creature of comfort. I'm a comfort, cre I'm a creation of comfort. No, you're something. I don't know. Saturday in the bodega. It must have been the 4th of July. I can't get up in here. Go get your bacon egg and cheese. Ugh. Oh. At least he's in a good mood, folks. He's in a good mood. That's a big, that's a big thing for us in the book. Joe's in a good mood. Yay, the bacon, egg, and cheese. I love that little, I love that little emoji. The little bacon, egg, and cheese emoji. Thank you for putting that up there, Danny. I love looking at Joe's phone because I can actually see everything since what you call it doesn't let me see it. And by what you call it, I mean, oh, um, Prism. Prism's like, no, you don't get the opportunity to see it. It says no. Joe's probably going to complain because I'm putting the water bottle, bottle of water behind his chair. And he'll hear it and he'll be like, what is that? Yeah, happy Joe is a good time. He needs to stay happy. He gets like very moody when he's out of his comfort. So, you know, I wanted to make sure that we don't do anything that requires him to walk or go too far away from the vehicle because I mean he can go far from the vehicle but he just needs to be able to have that close to him like he's trudging across the city I love how this damn thing keeps it so cold so cold you having problems standing and walking these days with very swollen feet and cellulitis <gasps> getting worse. That is very painful, JC Droy. I hear you. It's like when you when you have that in your feet and like your ankle area. Yeah, just keep them up. Keep yourself cool. Do whatever you need to to get that down. It is very Joe Kids Moody. <laughs> Grandma Joanne, you're so funny. <laughs> 
We had to cut him a break. Now the break is over, Adriana. No more breaks for the Jojo. He's got his bacon, egg, and cheese and coffee, and you guys are all here to witness it. Remember last time we were parked here and we saw that couple making out? They were older, you know, like, you know, they were, you know, 50s, 60s, whatever. They were older. They were having a good time. I was just, is this free parking? Well, this is kind of illegal parking. <laughs> we're not parked, we're standing. I'm in the vehicle. They can't give me a ticket. That's the key. That is the biggest key here in New York City. You can pull up to a hydrant, but if there's somebody in the car, they will not give you a ticket. You know, we had to learn that the hard way. You didn't have to do it, yeah. Yeah, JC, take care of yourself. Your aunt and cousin had that. Yeah, it's, it's hard. I know, he's like the Incredible Hulk Iceman. You don't wanna see him upset, for real. I will definitely show it before he inhales at Kelly Squirrel. So you can find one in Milwaukee. We'll definitely do that. Yes. He um has a problem. Like he, when he gets his food, it literally, he, he forgets. He just totally forgets. And it's like he goes face down. He's like the dog, you know, when you get the bag out, like when the dog, when you, if you, any of you have pets, I don't know if cats are the same way because we don't ever we've never owned a cat but um when you have a dog and you go to that special cupboard that you keep the food in and they hear the like the shake of the kibble the bag the, the, I don't know what it is but they are so finely attuned to the noise they come running and before you even got the food in the damn bowl dogs are face down in it and it's gone before you finish putting the food in the bowl I swear to God we had a dog like that she would, it was like she was like a damn Hoover vacuum cleaner it's ice cream time Ollie yes hi there toss 27 good to see you cats are the same really I never thought that you have four dogs and 24 sheep and three baby goats at Granny's what for real? Time to visit the old timers. <laughs> I love that. Well, JC Droid, I, I hear you on that. You know, your health is the most important, the biggest thing you can do. I don't know if you've been to the doctors and things like that to find out what you can do to better it. But you gotta take, even if you're like, I get it, like people say that they're afraid to find out what everything is going on but at least that gives you a starting point to get on the road to, you know, correct it as much as possible. Trust me, I was like that too. I didn't want to know anything about what was happening with me, but then when I went and did it, I'm like, okay, well, this is my plan. Angela, get your shit together. What's he getting? Is he parking here? I bet you he's getting bacon and cheese. Oh, here he comes. He's coming. I don't know what he's walking. He's walking like a zigzag line. Oh, he didn't even walk in front. He didn't even walk in front to show you. All right, now you got to flip the camera around. I thought you were going to show I left it this way so that you could show it to me. Are you going to complain right away? I mean, you can't lean over and flip the camera around. I mean, seriously, boo. No, no. You're you need me this much? You got to flip it, though. Oh, my God. Finger didn't hit it. Now you got to... And they asked you know, to Anne, see the I bacon, think, egg, and cheese. I think you need to take control. And they asked to see the bacon, egg, and cheese. Telling me what to do. Okay. They asked to see the bacon, egg, and cheese. Oh. Show so them. this is what it looks like, guys. It's a brown paper Show bag. Them. Show them. I haven't got a coffee to manage. Oh, my God. I am not giving this to you. If I open this up, I give it to a stranger. Oh, that's going to work real well. I'll that's give gonna, it to these gonna, girls right that's here. That's going to start the day off really, really well. <laughs> that's going to be really great. Yeah. Pass it forward. Take it out of my mouth and pass it's somebody It's wrapped. Else. Can you put your coffee down? It's really hot. Hi, Rhonda. How are you? Viking 180, how are you doing? Wicked Penny, why am I in the back? So I don't F up my damn knee. I have to keep it a She's going to be raised. permanently in the back of the seat because her knee is permanently going to be a pain Because it's body. driving Miss Ange. It's driving Yo Ange. So, okay, Penny? So. No judgment. Angela is going to be in the back of the car for the indefinite future. Because her knee is indefinitely foobarred. It's not Fubard. I can walk on it. Can you please show it to them? 
Fine, you sometimes. don't want to hold your own food? I'm not feeding you like you're some baby calf. I like that idea. When's I'm going to throw it when, out the door. I'm going to throw it happening? out the door. When's that going to start happening? Where's the Never. Ba- when's the baby You want me handling? to feed you? You want to see that? You want me to... You guys really want me to Why do that? Why are you going to be so mean-spirited right now? I'm not being mean-spirited. Then I have my food then. Then show it to them. No. Joe, <laughs> I can't. You're so dumb. Joe. See it? It's an alien product. It's got aluminum foil. On the head like this, it goes like this. Beat me up. I can't. David Bangor, how are you? You got to open it properly. <laughs> Stop it. <in> <laughs> Joe, open it so I can see the middle. This is, you can see. You see, suck. See. I can't. <laughs> Sucks, man. Now you see it. Now you don't. Take the sandwich out. Not like that, you big more. I swear to God. I swear to God. Joe, will you please show him? Joe, <laughs> yeah. the attack of the monster bacon egg and cheese. Oh no, it's coming to get me! I literally can't with him. <laughs> Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you want some? Can't have it. It's mine. Joe, just I swear to God, guys. It's <laughs> Dave Jeffrey, I see bread. <laughs> I know. This is so weird. Look at all you're gonna see is crazy chick I tried. I tried. I really did. Kelly Squirrel. Remember. <laughs> it's Saturday. Don't box me in. Joe, that is like every damn day. Every damn day. Oh yeah, right, Danny. You it's almost made, did made, drop it. What if he dropped it on his head? Look at now he's like is hot. Look at that. He's like my fingers are hot. It's too hot. It's made quite well today. <laughs> I swear to God. Joe. He, he must use his fine spatula. What? He's like SpongeBob over there making Krabby Patties. <laughs> I want to hear your big giant news, Penny. What is it? Penny, what is it? What's the giant news? Did you tell me? I didn't hear any damn giant you news. You got a job? You texted me at 7 a.m. I didn't hear no damn news. Hi, Dahlia Rose from Sweden. Hello, hello. I know, Phyllis. He makes everybody. Penny, Danny says, Penny, you found a feather? <laughs> <laughs> mm. I don't know. What is it? Okay, Penny. What is this? War and Peace? You type in a damn novel? Oh, my God, Joe. You just, I can't. <gasps> oh, I thought he made it wrong. No, the cheese was in the middle. You officially lost 50 pounds on the dot today in four days shy of five months. Girlfriend. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Penny, that's amazing. That's, that's amazing. fantastic. That's amazing, Penny. It's crazy. That's life changing, isn't it? It's totally life changing. That's wild. Good for you, honey. Good for you getting that shit together. I'm going to have to make an adjustment here. What in the hell are all oh, this danger? Danger zone. Danger zone. Oh my. spilled out precious drops I because those precious drops were looking at me going Ooh, we're gonna coach you with precious drops oh now you gotta put oh that's okay he's trying to put that on now yeah wicked penny is now lighter than a feather <laughs> I like that mm. coffee's very hot today. Joe is a handful coffee's very hot today. halfway to goal I know I'm getting I'm back on the bandwagon I don't weigh myself I have to go to like bed bath and beyond and find a scale oh. I would take Ange and Joe to lemon jelly restaurant for breakfast in Dublin Ireland that oh. sounds wonderful Do they got bacon egg and cheese Joe like jelly have a bacon egg and cheese <laughs> I can't. he showed it to you it was a very close one it was very up close, Kelly Squirrel. It was the attack of the bacon, egg, and cheese. I couldn't help it. it you recently trying. lost 10 pounds, Phyllis, and it was so Gosh. hard to do. It is. It's a... Listen, it didn't take a week to put it on, so it's not going to take a week to get it off. Penny, Penny's knocking it out, though. That was five months. Yeah, it takes a while. What you got to remember is that... What is that face for? And just dropping pearls. Everybody shut up, listen. I'm not dropping no pearls. Is that, even if it's a year, it's a year in the rest of your life. That's like nothing. Oh my God. She's a philosopher. 
You know what I mean? If it takes you six months, it takes you 10 months, that's just a small fraction of time. It's a journey. What's wrong? You can't handle the pearls? <laughs> <clears throat> I choked on my bacon. You're choking on your bacon? Well, maybe you need to chew a little more. Last seven weeks was torture. It took that long for the last five pounds. It does. Your body goes back and forth. You'll be like, haven't lost anything, gained a pound, haven't lost anything, gained a pound, and then all of a sudden in a week or whatever, your body evens out and you drop five. It's bizarre. I don't know how it all works. It is not strictly what they say it is. What is this person doing? Everybody jam, backing up jam. and going traffic forward. Traffic jam, traffic jam. Oh, for God's sakes, calm your shit down. Joe Driving School. Watch this. The plateaus. Yep, Kelly Squirrel. You'll hit plateaus and stuff. But one thing you got to remember, it's like, what am I not doing? What did I do? What are, you know, because there's times you get lackadaisical and it happens. You can't beat yourself up about it. You just got to keep moving forward. This guy is all, all about him. He's going to back into my ass. Oh, my God. He's Where sick. are they going? Oh, my God. Fuck. Joe, he's fine. This fucking guy is not fine. This fucking honk your this horn, honk your horn, dude. What are you doing, you dumb? Mo I can't. How far do you want to back up, sir? How far? Okay, Joe. Where you going, man? Oh, now he tries to do the. I can't. You're I the can't. one doing it. You're the one blowing the horn every blows on the clock. Hi, Selena. Oh, Selena Zafzi. Thank you so much for gifting uh, and your Ange membership, David Bangor. You were gifted a membership, Dave. I didn't even see, did it pop up? I don't know if it popped up. I got all distracted. I got all distracted, folks. All right, let's see what Joe's doing here. Hi, cool guy. The weather is hot all over the world due to global warming. Uh, it probably is. That's Did you realize that glacially we've warmed and cooled many, many, many different many times. times? And guess what? It had nothing to do with us. Well, I'm not going to get into a debate, Joe, about that. But I'm just saying. No, but you're not just saying. In geologic we're not times. We're not getting we're not geologic getting into, no, times. No, we're not. Because Joe gets on we've a... We've ebbed Joe, and flowed through Joe, this I've many kicked, times. I've kicked your soapbox out from underneath you. Ebb and flow. No, kick in the soapbox. The soapbox is broken. You don't get one. Are you checking me? I am checking you. Check, 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 check me. Wow. This is full contact hockey today. It's true. I, I understand that, but you know, that can get deep down dark, down a hole. Because Are you trying to say we're getting political? No, you get crazy. You go on and on. And I get it. I get it. It's a whole fucking debate. It's not a debate. That. It's geologic. Look at the times. Look at the times. I get it. Sixty degrees. You're a little warm. Yeah. Well, you're. Yeah. For you guys, it's Celsius. That's insane. It's sixty over there. That's insane. How hot is that? How do you figure that out? I don't know. I still can't figure out the Celsius to Fahrenheit, vice versa. Thirty-two degrees Celsius. Thirty-two degrees. Uh, no. So I add thirty. Yeah, 32. 32 degrees Celsius is like Zero. 100 degrees, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. That doesn't make sense because they're 30. They're, they're zero, zero degrees. 32. That's right. Zero so is add 32. 32. No, it's not a sliding scale, Joe. I'm telling you right now, when they say it's 35 degrees in the desert, it is smoking. It's over a hundred. When it's thirty-five it degrees, is. it's over a hundred. It's hot. Sixty Celsius is one hundred and forty Fahrenheit. That's what Alexa said. Well, then it can't be sixty. Because I didn't say guys... sixty. I said thirty. Thirty. Okay. I know the thirty. Pool, how thirty-five are you doing? degrees is smoking. That's the poop ship. Nobody can see it. Unload the Nobody poop. can see it. Nobody can see it. I can see it. Can you please tap the screen? Because you always leave it up there on that I thing. I can't tap the screen. I swear to God, Joe. You just always do that. I just tapped. Oh, my God. Tippity tappity. The poop ship is in. Unloading its cargo. It's okay. Let it be unloading its cargo. We don't need to deal with it. 
guess what the cargo is? Bacon, egg, and cheese. Processed bacon, egg, and cheese. <laughs> Up here on the left, you know what that is? That is the North River Water Pollution Control Plant. Water Pollution Control. They really wordsmith that. That's didn't a they? wordsmith. Isn't they it? really wordsmith that one. You wouldn't even water? know what that means. They don't even say sewage. It says water pollution control. That is the greatest wordsmithing known to man. Water pollution control. Yeah, baby. That's a poop plant. Cool guy, we are gonna go up to Fort Tryon Park. We wanna go see the gardens up there. And then I maybe can get you guys stuck into the mud. We will see. I'd have to take you off the gimbal. And hold you in my hand like we did at the post office, guys. You know what I mean? We have to be shushing. Good morning, Andrew, Joe, and Mott. Hi, Tammy T. Hello, hello, hello. Bacon, egg, and cheese was good. Joe had his bacon, egg, and cheese. He's currently drinking in his, like, what, fourth cup of coffee? You throwing shame and judgment on me? No. Just checking. Just judgment. No shame. But judgment, of course. Should we be in judging Mitch Judgeson? Hey, I get to do that because I'm married to you. I'll let that pass for now. For always. So Penny is lighter than a feather. Penny is lighter than a feather now. I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to have to tie her down. She's going to be like helium. She's going to float away. away. A big old wind she's gonna have to wear the. She's going to have to wear those scuba weights when she walks around. <laughs> she's going to have to wear a weight belt. She's got to wear some weight belt. Otherwise, she'll float away. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. We should get her a weight belt. We'll just get a bunch of minis. We're going to get her a 100-pound weight belt. We'll just get her a bunch of minis and we'll tie those down. <laughs> That's what it is. She'll wear a necklace of minis. How about that? Look at all this traffic already. Aren't these people out of town already? Why are they going this way? I would have to say it was a damaged vehicle or broke down vehicle. Good morning, Christina G. Because normally Saturday morning is quite flowy. I know. Usually it is. It's what the quite hell? flowy, it's flowy. It's only 10.48. We went early There's not so much concern could, you know, about traffic at this stage. I was up at 4.30, guys, because that's usually when Joe brings me my coffee. And then he did finally wake up at like 6 and bring me some coffee. That was like a that was like a passive-aggressive slam, slam on me. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was totally. You read that sentence again and again? That was like that he finally woke up and gave me my coffee. You could have crawled your little ass out of bed, too, and got your coffee. I know, but I was half tired, but so, half not. So you could have been, you know, very proactive instead of being the I didn't want to be. So you're going to just come out like that. Yeah, okay. exactly. That's fine. That's fine. So it was a sassy little comment on a Saturday. I saw that they arrested the Gilgo Beach Killer. Have you heard about this? I'm sorry. I don't watch current news. Yeah, oh, guys, up there, you see that bridge? That is the George Washington Bridge. That's how we get to Jersey from up this way. What's Gilgo and who's the beach? Well, it's way past Long Beach. Not quite as Fire Island, I don't think. Not quite as far as Fire Island. But it's out that way. It's past Jones Beach. Way out there by Robert Moses, you know, past it. But I guess they kept finding these people, you know, like over the years and they finally caught the killer it was 10 years of a of like a cold case that was solved karma's gonna catch up with that dude what well, was a guy karma's Some gonna catch up with that karma is gonna catch up with that dude nassau county some dude that dude's gonna get caught up with so i was reading it it was a very long timeline stuff with you. Uh, you know, people, there's like, they're everywhere. Just hopefully we never cross their path. Look at it. Middle of summer, guys. This is what it looks like. A lot of green and a lot of cars. Going upstate <clears throat> and even down, well, going downstate right now today. That's a nightmare. Going down the shore, go. Be prepared for oh, short traffic to AC would be four to five hour drive. 
right? Yeah, short traffic to AC right now. Today is going to be no At good. At least a four hour drive. Normally a two to two and a half. It would definitely kick it to four. That's how many cars are going to the shore. Brad, do we ever go to Secaucus, New Jersey? All the time. Yeah, that's where the train station is. That's where the train station is. Sometimes if I'm going to meet Joe, but he's on the Jersey side, I'll take the train over there so he doesn't have to battle traffic into New York. Like, say we're going to do something on that side of the world. Yeah. Which we, you know, across so the river. So if we're going to AC, world, yeah, we go to Secaucus. If we go to AC, time. you go to South, you go to South Amboy. If we're going to Pennsylvania, you go to Secaucus. Yeah, and then Joe will just pick me up at the train station. Because it's on the and way. And we continue on the way. Now, do we hang out in Secaucus? No. That's where, my, that. that's where my car wash is. Your car wash is in Secaucus? My car wash is the big Secaucus car wash. Well, hello. Good morning, Nista. How are you? Hi. Hi, Ismail. We can go to check out resorts in Monticello. That's Resorts Worlds, yes. Catskills. I think they actually closed... The, the Monticello racetrack. Track. The Monticello racetrack is closed. Is it cello or cello? It's Monticello. Yeah, that was the original one. That was a really old bingo hall kind of casino. It was. It was the tiniest little bitty it was, casino. It was a lot like Turtle Lake in Wisconsin. No, it was way smaller. I think so. Oh yeah, it was like one room. <laughs> it was. <laughs> it was. It was, uh, it was old. It was an oldie. It was an oldie. It was literally one massive rectangular bingo hall. Yeah, yeah, and it that's was how, kind of funny though. Now, originally, Turtle Lake started out like that. But I think maybe that. if it had, I'm gonna say what, 200, maybe 300. Maybe, maybe oh, here we are. We're getting up to the cloisters. See the arches. Yeah, maybe. This is know. what I'm talking maybe. about, guys. This is the area. Yeah, we thought we would take you guys to a different little space. Joe's got some coffee. He's got his food. He's in a good space at the moment. I'm all right, guys. I'm all right. He's all right. He's all right. all right. I'm okay. He used to do me favor. It's about damn time. In a minute, I'm going to need a sentimental man or woman to pull me up. Feel fussy in my velocity velocities. I'm trying to figure out the fabulous. Bring up the bed. <laughs> I'm going to need two shots in my cup. One to get up, one to get down. Mm. That's where I feel right now. I've been uh, listening to that song quite a bit, just so you know. Oh, really? Yeah. It's like number two on my playlist. Right after Karma. Yes, the Borscht Belt. Park in the shade, sir. Park in the shade. A lot of shade. That's an old car, guys. Ooh, that's, that's like a 007. That's an old seven. car. It is. It's 007. Doo -doo -doo -doo. That's uh, oldie, but goodie. Oh, man. That was an old oldie. I love that. That's a Jaguar. Damn. Whoops, hang on a second. So what, are you driving off the cliff? Drive out the cliff. He's got an old Jaguar there. I would say, my, yeah, because I think of my, I think of Thomas Jefferson Monticello. Okay, here's your phone. I need my phone. Here's your garbage. Just carpet bombing. I didn't carpet bomb you. Just throw your stuff all over the place. What does it have to do with carpet? I don't understand. You just, you just throw it all up Get here. I'll phone. clean it up. Oh my god. He is too busy doing his oh, own thing. You're the old car. Wow, wow. Wow, look at that thing, man. Dun, 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 dun. Jag 007 on Austin Mars. I know, but it reminds me of a very 007 type of vehicle. I don't care. I don't care how accurate I'm actually. I'm just giving you guys vibes. I'm sure you guys can get it, right? Look at he's going. Is he going? Sir, are you moving? Let me borrow it. Come on. Come on. I'll trade you. We'll trade this Jeep for that car. No? It probably costs too much. Put my phone by the way. I gave it to you. No, you didn't. I totally gave you your phone. I actually put your phone up here. Okay, you gave it to me. Oh, here you it goes. It you me. knocked no, it no, back. You, you gave it to me. Oh, no, you gave it to me. I got it. I, you knocked you it on the ground. It oh, for God's sakes, yo. Guys. Okay, out the door before he locks me in the damn car because you know he'll do that. He does that kind of stuff. All of a sudden, he locks me in the car and then I try to exit the. Oh, look, it's he's already doing it. 
Look at, he's already doing it. Already locking me in the car. This is gonna be a short one, I'm smoking right now. Oh, Joseph will sit in the shade. Untuck your underwear, let's get going. <gasps> <laughs> Let's get rocking and rolling. Come on, quit doing your primpy primpy. Let's go. I'm s I'm like a butter in the middle of the freaking street. I'm melting. Why is there butter I in the am, You mean a butter in the skillet? I'm a, no, I'm butter in the street. It's so hot. Look at me. I'm just butter melting. in the street. You see a pile of butter? <laughs> Somebody threw the butter in the street. Joe, that doesn't mean. make any goddamn sense. sense. I'm like butter. In the... I don't know. It's butter. a jaguar, but butter. it looks awesome. Where are you going? I'm walking over here. Joseph, what difference does it make? Yeah, look at this. Look yeah. at him. Butter. I'm melting. Oh, safe travels. Yes, Madison and Mama Tara. I think you guys are traveling back stateside. The butter in the middle. Who's got butter in the middle of the street? Can I ask that question? Yeah, I usually carry butter with me. These people think that you're crazy. I am. Okay. You ready to walk? I'm waiting for you, Cookie Monster. Let's do the walk thing. Oh, Joseph, you need to walk. Get that thing moving. Move. No, you go. need to stay in front because you get lost. Look at him. Look at him. He's like, oh. I can tell this is not going to be a log walk. Look at him. <laughs> Let's stop. We're going back to the car. I, can't. <laughs> I can already tell. This He's already been good glued in. It's already it's like you're pointing. It's still, Guys. I'm going back to the car. Joseph. The complaint department's on double time. The complaint department yeah. needs to chill the F out. I swear to you, he, look at him. Look at, he, he acts like he's two years old. Look, I can't. He's acting like he's two years old. And he's like, just got told he's got to go cut the grass or pull some weeds. <laughs> go cut the lawn. Again, Mom. <sighs> it's got to be cut. Trim the lawn. Do the hedges. Jade. Joe's needs to wear a different color than black. On high. All he ever wears, well, he cannot wear white because God knows he would look like a damn. He would look like, he would look like. Look, what I feel like. Look at this tree. This sad tree is withering, withering away. It's heat stress. Heat stress. This poor tree's got heat stress. That's me. I got heat stress. I'm with you. <laughs> You, my sir, have major issues. Go on, see our big guy. Okay. We're gonna walk around it, though, right? I'm gonna stay in the shade part. Uh, are we walking up? Or are we walking, walking this way? Why don't we walk over here? This is what it looks like, guys. Isn't that cool? Shaded gardens. Way. This is the cloisters, the Met cloisters. That's the museum. Like I said, they have all this stuff in there. It's very like, what do you call it? It's like Middle Ages, whatever. Renaissance. It's not Renaissance. I don't know. He's talking garbage. He doesn't remember. He doesn't know the ages. If Joe were a tree, he would be that. I know. It's not that hot at this moment. Let's stay in the shade over here. Should you get a nice cheesesteak and some Guinness? That sounds delicious. But you just need a bacon, egg, and cheese, Joe. I can always fit in a Guinness and cheesesteak. The Guinness would be hot and heavy. I know, I love it. Joe's melting butter in and the street. You know why? Ann just wants to walk through the sun. She wants to see how far I can go. This is not in the sun right here. What am I right now? Well, get out of that and get in the shade right here. I mean, at some point, you may end up having to cross. No. Joseph. I swear to God, Joe would take a tree as an umbrella. That's a big umbrella. It's a quiet zone, Joe. Do you see that? It says quiet zone. It says I can still complain. It's quiet. You have to be quiet, Joe. <laughs> quiet zone. Hush. Hush. Hush, little Joey. Don't say a word. The end of it, I gotta walk in the sun now. That's where my, that's where my walk stops. <laughs> then you walk in the other side. I'm shade hopping right now. I know, he's like a little kid, guys. The walk has LMAO written all over it. I know. 
It's not like. Ooh, look at all these cars. You wanted to go up the damn hill. Yo, I swear to God. She's like, oh, she's a wandering drunk. She's going to the We're going to end up over there, guys. Watch. We are, but we're not going to have to climb up the giant hill in that one steep climb. Watch the bricks. Oh, my God. I don't want it to pick you up because you weigh a big ton. So how about you climb this rock? No, I'm not stupid. Hello, Ralph Rosa. You know, if Joe had one of those monk robes on, he would fit right in. He couldn't. He would. He'd be too much material. I'd be a fire tuck. <laughs> Joe is fryer tuck. But you already have the hair for it. I have the fryer tuck going on. I just need the brown robe. You know, you know what haircut this is? Oh, Joe, time to go to church. I'm go. <laughs> End of the live. <laughs> Joe's got his costume ready. This is very uneven ground. <laughs> Joe! He's like very uneven ground. Bitch, 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 bitch. Look at, look. I feel like this is a set for, what's that movie? Monty Python's Holy Grail. <laughs> yeah, Joe. Feel it. Feel it, son. Yes, the cloisters were. He turned it off for you. He said, I can't let him dance anymore. It's too embarrassing. Oh, he turned it back on for you. Yeah, he felt some music. Why do you have to give me that look? Oh, now he's trudging. He doesn't have any music to go by. It's too far away for him. Look. I feel like there should be knights up there guarding it. Joe, this is wildflowers. They're supposed to look like this. This is supposed to be like the natural, like what would be around it. It's not manicured. It's not a manicured space. It's not supposed to be like manicured. You know how much time I could have saved by just saying I'm going no natural in my old house? Yes. I'm just letting it go all natural, guys. It's fine. You don't have to have a you don't have to have a lawn. That's what people are mistaken by. Cutting the grass and shit, that's stupid. Just have a natural like wildflower field. You get a ticket from the city for not cutting your lawn. No, it's not a lawn. It's a lawn. It's landscaped. I didn't say let your grass grow like that. That's not grass. There's plants. Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment, that's for sure. You it's love Joe's like dance. It's gonna slide off into the sidewalk. No, it's not. Look at that thing. It's gonna slide off into the sidewalk. It's not gonna slide off into the sidewalk, Joe. You think it's gonna come at you? Yeah. It's got my name. What does it say? It says you're coming at you, Joe. Another one. Look at how shaded it is right here, by the way. And it's Look even. All these rocks coming after. You. They're not coming after you. I love the ivy, though. It's so pretty. You my groundhog there? I don't know. It could be, but it might be hidden because it's like kind of. Well, it's still kind of the shaded morning. We have to go see our groundhog. What's his name? Well, I know we call him Fatty Fatty Bo Batty, but what's his name? We call him Bob. We call him Friar Chuck. 
Don't we call him Bob? We call him Bob. We gotta go see Bob, guys. Look, that's so cute up here. I love it. I feel like, I mean, like, yeah, like, you know, when you go to the Renaissance it's Festival. It's really uneven here. I hope you understand that. Yeah, I understand it. All right. What did he have? Four cups of coffee. This is Joe. Now, this is feeling comfortable now. Hmm, you want to live under like here, I'm Joe? Oh, hi there, Phil. Noah James, aloha, happy Saturday. Michelle King, good to see you. Oh, natural. Joe wants to see his friend Bob. Bob. Hopefully Bob. Bob. Check out the garden. Bob. A lot of stuff here. Where are you, Bob? He's usually hanging out under the hedge. Okay, Bob. Let's see what Bob <laughs> I'm just watching because if you guys notice, there's a lot of roots have made the walkway wobbly. The roundhog is named Phil. Oh, it's named Phil. This is his cousin? This is another one. This is the one that hangs out here. No, but we call him Phil too. We did call him oh, Phil. Wow. Adriana remembers. Adriana, we renamed him. Because he wants to name him Bob now. Hi there, boss. How are you? It was Phil. Let's go see if Phil and Bob. They're a couple. They live here. See, that was a much easier walk than climbing the mountain. This is where we look for him. Okay. Where is he? We must scout. <laughs> we must scout it out. It is quite an incline. Hey, we got the other me in the house. How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm trying to see where Mark is. Oh, it's warm. I don't see him, Joe. I do not see Bob nor Phil. The other me's here. Hi, other me, buddy. How you doing, man? Guys. Isn't sleep? Isn't it like the hour different? I know. What are you doing up? It's Saturday. It's early over there. Yo. Derek Dulce, good to see you. Good morning. That's the cloisters. It's an actual museum, guys. It is a museum. Go in there. You can see some tapestries. The unicorn tapestries are actually what are housed here. The ones where they have the unicorn hunt, all that. It's very cool. And if you guys want to check out a live streamer from Las Vegas, check out the other me. He does them Monday, on Wednesday, Fremont and Friday Street. on Fremont Street. Last night's live stream, yo, you were on forever. I fell asleep and didn't even know it. He was on for over five hours. That was like, that's a beast. That's a beast move, man. Look at it. There's no Bill, there's no Bob nor Norfield. He's, they're sleeping. They're having, it's Saturday. They're inside. Now, he usually does come out at night towards the evening. Joe's sweating. You ready for the garden? Joe. Yeah. We're going down. I'm facing this way. Yeah. We're going to go towards the garden. Joe, this is Bob. No Bob for you. What if Bob ran across the thing? He's a big one too. He's a big groundhog. I literally think he lives under the tree over here. That's exactly where I think his thing is. His little, his little hobbit hole. What? I don't know. Looks very European to me. Beautiful. It uh, it is you know pretty much. It's like it is a building that was brought here from far far away. You know, people here in New York they got a lot of money, a lot of families. 
Was it? Was it the Rockefeller? It was the Rockefellers. It was a son of the Rockefellers. One of the so, it was somebody, the Rockefellers. We're just gonna say the Rockefellers. Joe's purse is fabulous. I know it's my bag. He's carrying it, dude. Please don't hit us. I know. Look at how we done. I know. Isn't this nice? They redid this. Awesome. Look how flat, calm it is out on the Hudson. Wow. This is the Hudson River. Goes all the way up the Hudson Valley. Way down there. Way, way down there. That's the road. Do you like the chicken wars? Quack, quack, quack. I know. What kind of beetle is that? What the hell is that thing? Is this the Asian? No, it's not the Asian one. What is that? It's not a lantern fly. What the hell are those? I think it is kind of like maybe the lantern fly. Oh my god, they're flying on me! Don't do that. I better run away. Holy moly. But it's not the lantern fly. The lantern fly looks different. It looks invasive. It does look invasive. These are all new. All these benches. We're going to see how far we get. Because, you know, Joe's going to be hugging the wall for some any bit of shade. Because he can't handle it without. Those might be the invasive bugs. Yeah, but they're not the lantern fly. Lantern fly looks a little bit different. I know, but they're not the lantern fly. It's like some kind of Asian beetle. Asian ladybuggy beetle. Hi, Valerie. How are you? Joe's like, can I... Lantern flies are like black with red wings. We'll have to look it up. They're not round like a ladybug. Yeah, lots of spots on them. They are spotted bright red. No, spotted with white dots. They're bright red with white dots. But they're more triangular looking. Yeah, they got white dots in their legs too. Are the lantern flies out now? They these, happen all these summer. Birds, these start eating these things. Yeah, they really do. Let's get to the shade. They have to be coming because of all the greenery down there. Those are the lantern fly nymphs. They will they will morph into the fly. Those are the little ones. Oh my God. Stop. That's, it's literally an invasion. That's disgusting. I hate them. Some the problem with them make... is that they're going to deforest the entire area. They'll eat everything. This is because somebody broke the wall. And now instead of fixing the wall, we've decided to put planters here. You just looked it up on Google. It is definitely the lantern fly. I thought it would be, but it's like, they're shaped like it, but they don't look like the right color. So these must be the young ones. Oh, they tell you like when you see them to step on them. But I'm kind of thinking this is pretty much, I don't know. Oh, they're definitely up here. I just shot one this morning. Oh, wow, because you can't... Look at, they're usually, there's black ones, and then they go to the red, and then they change into the other one. Damn, that's a lot of them. It's a lot. 
That hillside will look different next year. They destroyed your trees. Wow, RFT. Hi, Brian Sports and Entertainment. This is the bridge. You can walk all the way up here into the park. The roadway is way down there. It's very, very big. This is the bridge. This is the tunnel that we came in on our throw them into the swamps and let the alligators take care of them. Oh my God, for real, too much. It's literally on everything. I've never seen them this bad up here. It's literally awful. Whew, I'm getting hot. Are you hot, baby? Over there. Joe doesn't want to go in the sun. Good morning, Jolie. It is a beautiful area. Hopefully, these lantern flies. They're really bad. Must be because they don't have like a lot of predators. We need to get something to eat them. Right. What does that one go to? That's the way back to the car, no? You're like, I don't want to, which way do you want to go? Do you want to go up to the garden? Yeah, the breeze is here. Okay, we'll go up to the garden. We'll try to. We're gonna try. Oh, we got sailboats. It's only on the side with the vegetation. I don't think the birds eat them. Oh, over 10,000 in tree removal. Yeah, they are, they, they are very destructive. Yo, look at they come up here to climb the rock. They practice climbing, so if you fall down, you're not going to kill yourself. Why? This is where you learn. Let us see this. I have to see this. We're not going up those stairs. Why are stairs? You can't sit there. There's no bugs. Oh, there's one. There's not very many. Look at it. We always wear, I'm wearing black too, guys. Good afternoon, Mrs. Viking. <laughs> He's doing the shopping bag. <laughs> These stairs are damn scary, guys. There's no railing and they're incredibly steep. It's a quick path to the top. It is, but it's dangerous as fuck. It is very dangerous. You stumble, you're done. Yeah, it's like, yo, teeth on the ground. No handrails. No handrails. That one must be grandfathered in somehow. Well, this was built back in, you know, the day. The day. The day. It was built in the day. The lantern fly dance. Oh my God, Jolie. You had to kill them all. I'm already sweating. I'm sweating. He got some fucked up toes. He's hearing him out, baby. He's hearing Whacked him out. Quack off toes. Quack quack. Okay, hang on. Let's let's rest for a sec. It's a baby German Shepherd. It is a baby. That is literally a pup. Look but at we're it. not going up to the lookout. Look at the pup. Look at the pup. He is a little baby. You can always tell because they walk like. They got big ass paws. Look at that. Yep. They always They're walk. Clumsy. Yeah, they walk very clumsy when they're puppies. The paws are huge. He's gonna be such a big dog. Wow. Okay, but this way is to the garden. Yeah. Yeah. Going. We're not going up top. Top. We're on the bend. Okay. 
We're gonna make it, guys. We're gonna make it. That bag is way easier to carry, though, than the backpack, right? For now. Well, the backpack gets you all sweaty. Whew. Getting our steps in today. That's for sure. Remember more when you were a kid? Day. We had a ladybird. A ladybird invasion in 76. I mean, a ladybug invasion. I got you. Yeah. I no way. I don't like that. An invasion of any bug. Nope. I think that's why the trees are stressed. They should be dispensing fly swatters to kill them. They're gonna make it after all. I hope so. If you give everybody who went to the park a fly swatter to kill all the bulls bugs you wanted, you start get, getting down the population. You even need more than that. No, you start there. Flamethrowers are really too much. Do you think? We're going down. <sighs> Why does this feel like such a long truck? It's still. You're still. Good thing we didn't go to Untermeyer Gardens. Although the payoff there is very quick. We're breathing heavy. It's a bit of a climb. Look at it. Look at it. Look at that. Right there. On my face. Sweat. Rolling down my face. You see that? In the chest, I was <laughs> You'd be surprised what I can fit in my shopping bag. It's so strong, too. Oh, really? You're welcome. I do like my bag. Guys, those bags are really good. I can put a lot of stuff in there. It's really well made. I mean, I didn't make it. It's just my logo and stuff on it, but you know. I do like it. Okay. Next shaded spot up there. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. We're getting there. Into the shade. Whew. Smoldering. Look at he's sweating. Good thing I put my hair up. Oh my God, I actually see the garden. Can you guys see it? Oh my God, get some roller blades? Hell no. You guys can see how actual hazy it is. Hobbits like to have two breakfasts. <laughs> yes, it is very warm. It's just... Oh man, that's gross. He's wearing two things though too. Me guys, I just keep cutting the sleeves off my shirts. Can't do it. Okay. We made it in there. Garden. We made it to the garden. I'm in the garden right now. It's officially the little garden up here. It's actually quite big. Oh, look how pretty this is, Joe. Joe's like, I don't care. He's too hot to enjoy it. Don't pick on hobbits, I know. Look at these, look at these areas though. Aren't they beautiful? They're gorgeous. You know how we like the little garden up by us? Let's go sit in the shade here. What'd you say, babe? Well, I'm gonna sit here in the shade. Lean up here against the shade a little bit. We have been drinking water. They said take their morning walk up here. It's really cool. Look at all that lamb's ear. Joe loves this little plant. We call it, it's called lamb's ear because it's fuzzy and soft, just like a little lamb's ear. It is. You think you should call it puppy ear? Yeah. Like a little lamb's ear. Like velvet. Whew. 
<sighs> yep, we're gonna make a little circle. No marital strife. This is towards the cloisters and the cloister lawn. That's where we started from. That's where we started from, guys. We're gonna make our little circle. Whew. We'll cut through the middle. Yes. Joe, yes. Tightest circle possible. Tightest circle possible. Oh, wow, look at these. Those are gorgeous. Wow. Yeah, that tree is history. Look at that. Right? These are so beautiful. <gasps> Little birdies. It's super pretty. So it's like instead of coming up to the Bronx Botanical Gardens, you can come here. This is actually free. What? Oh, you like the purple, yeah. That's the difference. This is beautiful. Much smaller scale than the Botanical Gardens. And it's free. Those are a deep, dark purple. You love those, don't you? I know, if you look at them, like they're so perfect, I love it. Like that's a great screenshot right there. Like these are so cool. Get your screenshots, folks. I hope it's in focus. Oh my goodness, look at this one. I got the B on it. It's 4.28 p.m. in the Republic of Ireland. This is the height of summer. Why are we? We're in the path on the sun. Not the shaded one up top. Okay. There's more of that. That dusty rose is so pretty. Ooh, wow. Look at this hydrangea. That's a massive bloom. That's huge. Then we got the Nico blue one in the back. Only thing they ask you guys is to stay in the path. Do not walk through. Oh my God, that feels so much better, right? Oh, you love even the dandelions? Hey. Those are so pretty. Like these are just beginning to pop. Of heat stress. Normally, though, those are very hardy. The hostas, hostas hardy. yeah, but they, they don't like the sun as much. Purple cone flowers are a native species, very beneficial. The, bees are loving these. the bumblebees are loving this, loving it. Yeah, because yeah, you're, yeah, you're in the shade a little bit. Yeah, wild roses. Your granny had a garden, we called it Asteria. That's great. Look at those hydrangeas. Wow. Those are big, right? Those are massive.
this is the reason why we don't wear makeup in the summer. Those orange, flame orange flowers. Oh, look at these little tea roses. Right here. No, these are the little tea roses. make it to the end guys we're gonna make it to the end can you imagine trying to do this in your own place like how much work it would be like it would be a lot of work like there's a guy out there right now working on the garden pulling out the weeds the invasive that'll choke out everything else He's doing right there. yeah he is Good job. like it's beautiful though look this way Yeah, it's a very long path, very long walking trail. It's winding. Okay, we're not going up to the promenade? Is it? How? This way? Going across? All right. I gotta hold on to you. walkway because you have to come back down these stairs there's not like an entrance out the other way that's the lookout there's shade but it doesn't lead to anything <laughs> he's like but I want the shade we have to take the, the easiest way down no there's like a restaurant house out here there's a lot of little stuff up here, guys. So if you guys have the time when you come to New York, you can take the subway to a train, to a bus, and take that up here to the cloisters. Look how big this tree is. It's huge. Good morning, Ronnie. It is, this is like a beautiful grounds it's a great way to spend the afternoon. Yeah, it is an elm. It's a great way to spend a day that's away from the city. You're still in Manhattan, actually. But you literally, you feel like you've been transported to a whole nother place. Right? Yeah, this is like the, it's like literally just down. We haven't crossed into the Bronx. We're at the very tip of Manhattan. The very, very tip. Yes. I could see a movie filmed here, absolutely. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. All those are the steps, but see, like, yeah, there's nothing up there. Guard of Honor in the Kingdom of Jordan. 100% Carcassian. My uncle has a huge tree in his backyard. Reminds me of the tree in Avatar, right? That tree is so big, guys. You don't think so, but it is really. Okay, I love that they have this here for people who are in wheelchairs, but could you imagine letting them go? <laughs> it would be like, yo, okay, come back here so I don't accidentally. Why don't I just take this step? No? Whatever you want, actually. It's like a little more even than constantly. Mystery Manor. He 
you just gave me the hundred thumbs up. Thank you so much. There's Zeko. Is it Zeko? Zeko Loff. Appreciate it, guys. It's hard to see the chat because the screen is dimmed. But I do appreciate everybody being here. Over here is Abby's lawn. A lot of people come on. The crazy We're not going to the crazy staircase. We aren't going to Abby's lawn because that's the crazy staircase, folks. Does this go the right way? I feel like it curves back. Okay, let's see. We got to see which way this goes around. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, guys. Oh no. It's too hot for stairs. No, there isn't. Oh my God. Yo, guys, I'm have to go down on my ass. <laughs> no, there's actually a ramp that goes left and that goes back right. Joe's like, I don't want to take the ramp. I'll show you guys the crazy staircase from up top. Up top, it's crazier. It's scarier. Down doesn't look so bad. From top, it's like, oh, up oh, top. From down, fall. it looks bad. No, up here looks bad. If you guys want to see my anxiety, I fell down three stairs and freaked out. Okay, guys? Look at this one. No, no That's the definition of pain. Look at that. You stumble? You stumble, bumble on these things? Yo. You're not making it. Joe, Captain Morgan? Modified Captain Morgan. Modified Captain Morgan. Hello there from Russia. Welcome in. Yeah, that, that's not going to happen. I see we got 175 of beautiful fine folks in here. Guys, if you guys new to the channel like these walks in and around New York City where we discover stuff, experience things, dine, whatever, in and around the city, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I go live. On weekends, Joe and I are always on adventures. During the week, I'm taking walks through the new, through the city. And of course, Thursday night is date night with all of you. Look at how much easier this is than going down those steps. steps. Those are suicidal steps, damn. There's more suicidal steps. There's a lot of little steps here. A lot of little places that are great. If you guys were having like, I'm just gonna say, if you guys have seniors or you wanna take photos or whatever, there's a lot of little spaces here. A lot of spaces. Do it on the down low. Don't be bringing out like your big old, you know, screens and stuff and ring lights and whatever. Look at that. We made it without doing the steps. We did the last time on those steps. I was scared. Yeah, last time I did it on those steps. No, 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 not doing it again. Looks like a wet motorway. <gasps> That's a puppy too. Mm -hmm. it looks like one. Oh, we're back to the rock climbers, guys. That seemed to come much faster coming back. Because it's downhill. Oh, it's downhill. Okay. Good move. Those steps no, are an steps. accident waiting to no, happen. We went on these steps and we told I have done we'd these. Never do it again I have done these steps a couple times. Crazy. I just won't do them again. It's too damn scary, wall, and the walls are too low to hold on to anything. For real, like, look at that. That's insane. Yo, classy. Benches in the shade are the best, man. Oh, look, dog's taking a piss. Look at, they made it up to the top. I couldn't do that, no way. I would be a nervous wreck. Everybody's got their climbing shoes on. Oh, yeah. 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 Climbing shoes, those are so cool. Yeah, yeah. You know how well I can drive in those? You have your grippy toes. I need to get 
I need to get climbing shoes, i.e. Joe's driving shoes. Look at all the people under the one tree. The tree is like the tree of life. The tree of life in the middle of the lawn. Joe's trying to kill the all the lantern flies. Oh no no no, it is not flat up here. It's not flat at all. It's actually gorgeous. And that's why I say, if you guys have the time and you're coming to visit New York City, it's a, yeah, it's a take it down kind of day, kind of place. Bring a picnic lunch, bring some food, bring a hat if it's summer. This is beautiful in the fall, springtime, gorgeous. I mean, you're looking out over the Hudson River. They should rename them Suicide Steps. Galen, Tom, how are you? Joe, stop, you're gonna make me crazy. Don't get run over by the bike. Joe's trying to kill every single one, and he's gonna single-handedly save the park. The he's gonna stop the Joseph. Stop seeking him out, Joe. Every time you hear that noise, that's Joe. We're making our way back, guys. Look at that. The view. You have a house up here? Oh, it's so nice. It's truly one of the great little spaces. Joe, 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 stop it. Stop it. If you keep it up, I'm gonna make you go sit over there with the priest. I'll get your Catholic guilt going. I'll get your Catholic guilt, guilt going. Come on, Joe. I'm a Joseph. I'm a right in front of you. I don't care. I don't care. Don't even do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I swear to God, Joe. You look. I can't. I literally can't. I swear. Joe, I'm gonna. Guys, I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna beat him. I'm gonna beat him. I'm gonna beat him. Make him run. I'm making him run in sweat. Look at. Look at they're holding surfaces out here, guys. Look at now he has to stop. He's like, oh shit, she's gonna get my ass. That looks nice. I hear now he's gotta keep me, I gotta keep up with him. Okay, we gotta get over here. Joe! Where are you going? Oh, he was running towards the shade. Are you running towards the shade? It's hot in that sun. We have one bench up here where we can sit down on. One. It's only one. Oh my God. Guys. It's not busy up here, probably because it's hotter than Hades. Even though it's not as hot as it's been, it's still hot. Oh, it is. Trust me, it is. I can't remember what the benches were like before they changed them. You know? I'm sitting down. Joe's trying to get rid of all those stupid lantern bugs. Lantern flies. Well, guys. Good job, Joe. Every adult lantern fly nest can produce 300 plus babies. Oh my God. I'm just killing one at a time, and she's yelling at me about that. I know, but the way you have to stop on him, can't you just stomp? No, nope, can't you just step? Quick. Joe, but the way you're doing it is so animated. It's so animated. They are fast. You got to get them quick. I don't know. I seem to be able to step on them all the Let's time. Step on that one. I want to see if you think you do. They shoot away. Watch one. Go get that one, Ange. One. I'm waiting for it. One, Ange. Oh my God, waiting. Joe. Waiting. Oh, waiting. God. Everybody's I like, good job, nothing. Joe. I don't see that. Good nothing. job, Joe. Let's see if we get this one, Ange. See, it flies away, Angela. Smarty pants. You didn't get that one either. Me too. That one you got. 
like but you don't have to do that whole like animated ext extreme like <laughs> joe you're gonna fucking kill yourself you're gonna fall down bust a leg I'm not sure how this works this is joe this is joe's technique but why do you have to scrape so much why are you yeah. scraping a smear you don't have to smear joe you look like you're a dog i swear i can't like yeah, this is him yeah. joe stop it the noise is making me crazy He's making me nuts. He's making me nuts. They're gonna, they're gonna go make beer. Those are the beer masters. Those are the beer masters. The beer masters are gonna go make beer. Are they are they really monks or are they playing the thing? All I need them is start handing out beads. <laughs> you know, like, oh, you got Joe, they got, your else, they got your outfit, Friar Tuck. Friar Tuck. The guys that hand them out in Times Square. Come on, man. Come on, man. They stole Joe's outfit. All right. Oh, yeah, because we're going to go down? No more messing around. No more messing around. All right, we're going to go this way, guys, because he said so. What? Oh, you're still looking for your friend? Joe's looking for his friend. He waiting on a friend. Whew. I don't know how those women do it. She took it off and put it back on? Because you were there. And I stared at her. And you looked at her. <laughs> Joe. You mean the salt is going to kill me? No, Joe. Joseph? I swear to God. That's what you see in the cartoons. Guys, Aladdin. Joe. Aladdin said that. Aladdin Joe, said I'm not. Yeah. I can't win him, guys. I have no control over his mouth. They need to release the chickens. Chickens want to kill. Chicken wars to kill the land. Really? I would hope so. Guys, I can't fix him. Anyway, guys, we're going to make our way back to the car. It's been hot. Joe's gotten his little workout. I think we sweated off about, I don't know. What do you think, Joe? Like, Three pounds of water. Look how what? Look how big that tree is. Oh my god! Look. He says, "Look how big this tree is. It's really big." Joe, come here. What are you doing? Your buddy decided he's taking a he's taking a he's taking a rest. Joe, you're not gonna find him. Oh, there's a squirrel. It's a squirrel. It's his neighbor. All right, guys, we're gonna go. We're gonna get back down to the car. I jumped in the water, got my hair wet. I, I am soaking, literally soaking. I hope you guys enjoyed the little walk up here in the gardens. Hot, um, hot, it's hot. Oh, I can't. I think I've lost three pounds of water weight just now. How, guys, how did? Joseph, those are not good mushrooms. I don't know how they did this before there's air conditioning. Like to go back inside and just sit there in the heat. But granted, those were stone, so they were probably cooler. Yeah, cooler. Right, right. They put a stone in the okay. it's really cold. Joseph, inside of it's cold. It's like a cave. You know? Alright guys, have a good Saturday. Have a good Saturday. Stay cool. cool because it's too damn hot to be out there doing a bunch of stuff, guys. Yeah, you know what? If your lawn needs to get cut, I don't know, buy a goat. Yeah, contract a damn goat, okay? I think it'd be much I think it'd be worth your while. And then you can make some goat cheese or something. F the F the lawnmower. Alright? Take care. Enjoy your day. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.